you're given a chart with inequalities and it starts out by giving you the baseline of 2 and 5. The description of what's going on is this is just the beginning and the inequality that describes this is 2 is less than 5. True statement. So now we move from 2 and 5 to 4 and 10. What operation occurred from get to get me from 2 to 4 and 5 to 10? Well, the pattern that I see is that it was multiplied by 2. Then the inequality symbol that shows the relationship between these two numbers is 4 is less than 10. Still true. Then I look, how do I get from 4 to negative 1 and 10 to negative 5? Well, 10 between 10 and 5 is a takeaway of 5 or a division of 2. Well, 4 divided by 2 does not leave me with negative 1, but 4 minus 5 does leave me with negative 1. So the description of the operation is subtract 5. Then when I look at the inequality, does my inequality change? No. Negative 1 is less than 5. Okay. Now I go from negative 1 to positive 5 and positive 5 to negative 25. I notice that my signs change. A negative becomes a positive, a positive becomes a negative, and the difference between 1 and 5 is 6, and 5 and 25 is 20, and that's not a pattern, but if I take a negative 1 and multiply it by a negative 5, that would give me a positive 5, and if I took 5 and multiplied it by a negative 5, that would give me a negative 25. So we multiplied <laughs> it helps if I can spell it right. Thank goodness for spell check. Multiplied by negative 5. Then if I look at the inequality, I've been using the less than symbol, but now I have a 5 and a negative 25. Well, 5 is greater than negative 25. My sign has to change. Then if I go from 5 to negative 15 and negative 25 to negative 15, in both of these cases, I have an increase in 10. So 10 and 10 to both of those numbers to get to this new set of values. And then how do 15 and negative 15 compare? Well, 15 is greater than negative 15. Then 15 turns into 3, negative 15 turns into negative 3. The signs stay the same, so I know there's not really a negative involved, both of these are increasing by, you know, uh, changing by a division of 5. So if we divide by 5, that lets us change it, and then our inequality shows that 3 is greater than negative 3. Now I see positive 3 turns into negative 3, negative 3 turns into positive 3. This is an inverse, the signs change. Well I know that what I need to do to change the signs on something is multiply by a negative or a negative 1 if we need a number. Now negative 3 is less than 3. So this lets us complete our chart. Then it asks us what operation appears to be flipping the sign. So if I go back and find out, well, here I went from less than to greater than, what happened? Multiplied by a negative 5. Then here, to go from 3 and negative 3 to negative 3 is less than 3, I multiplied by a negative 1. Well, what do I notice about negative 5 and negative 1 compared to all the other numbers? Well, there was a multiplication of it by a negative number. Now we know whenever we multiply or divide by a negative, it changes the signs. And when it involves inequalities, we have to flip the sign. So we know what operation appears to be flipping the sign, multiplying a negative number, okay? So then that lets me think about, well, what rules do I know about multiplying and dividing with integers when I'm, I'm dealing with a negative sign. So what is always true about the negative number system? The value turns, the, the number becomes its opposite. The number becomes its opposite when multiplying, I hate this word, multiplying by a negative. 
So if the negative multiplying and dividing by a negative creates an opposite sign, guess what? It means I have to have an opposite inequality to go with that same pattern. And does adding and subtracting by a negative number always, sometimes, never produce an opposite number? Well, it, it depends on how big of a difference it is between the numbers. So I would say that uh, sometimes, so adding and subtracting with a negative sometimes produces an opposite result when the values are, you know, um, correctly opposite, I guess. I, I don't even quite know how to explain that at the moment. Um, different values depending on which number is bigger and how much you need to add or take away. So there are conditions that are right that might lead to, to opposites, but it's, it's not a set thing or a set known change when you're adding and subtracting. But we do know that multiplying and dividing by a negative number, this always creates an opposite number. Because a negative times a positive, the opposite of a positive is a negative. If I have a negative times a negative, the opposite of negative is a positive. That's all that multiplying and dividing by a negative is talking about. It's saying the opposite of. So that means when we multiply and divide, it's creating an opposite number. Always creates an opposite number because multiplying or dividing by a negative translates to the opposite of. And again, spell check has my back. So I hope that ex helps explain what uh, this activity is asking you to do. And just know that in whatever equation or expression that you have, if you have to multiply or divide on both sides of the inequality or equal sign, or actually it's just going to be with inequalities, um, it's going to produce an opposite result, so you have to flip your negative signs.